Hey, Kev here. Let's make some crisscross fence models in Blender really quick, like before you move on to the next shiny video. I did this in a previous video like a year ago, and someone told me I should make this into a video on its own, and I said like, no, and they said, yeah. So I said, uh, okay, here goes. Create a cylinder with vertices 32 and depth like four. Then hit tab and go into edit mode. Hit control R to go into loop cut and slide, and then roll your mouse wheel until you get 18 cuts. Or just type 18 cuts into the pop-up window. I, I don't care. Do, do, do one of those. Next, make sure everything is selected and go to Edge, Unsubdivide. In the pop-up window, choose 1, and now you have a crisscross shape. If you add a wireframe modifier to it, you have a fence-like weave crisscrossy thing. If you want to make it garbagey, like a waste paper basket, add in a lattice. Scale it around the cylinder, and you can go wide or scale it in. It's, it's your choice in life. Then, select the object, add in a lattice modifier, choose the lattice as the object, and now, if you select the lattice and hit tab to go into edit mode, you can grab points and you can scale them as your deepest and darkest desires will it. I made a trash can with mine, with no bottom so the trash stays on the floor, like, forever. If you add more resolution on the lattice in the W field, it will tighten up the effect, then you can edit away. You can even move the camera in and get all motion graphics, ooh. If you add in a subdivision surface to this, it's organic-y. Here's a cool trick. If you want to smooth it out, select it, right click, and there's Shade Smooth. That's two Yomi, kid. Take off subdivision and let's make the top better. Hit tab, go into edit mode and select the top and bottom faces and then delete them. Now, on the wireframe deformer, hit boundary and ooh, nice. So what? So so we made a trash can, like, big friggin' deal. Let's make a fence! This is seriously more useful to you. I know it, you know it, and everyone knows it. Slap down a grid. Give it subdivisions of 11 on both the X and the Y, and make it 2 meters. This is scientific, bro. Now what do you think we're gonna do? That's right, hit tab. Select it all, then go to Edge, Unsubdivide, and choose 1. Now you have a fence, Holmes. Give it a wireframe shader and, well, it's a fence with borders. Like, that sucks. Let's take care of that now. You can select one triangle, then go to Select, Select Similar, Polygon Sides, and it will grab all the polygons that have three sides, but not anything else, because it's pretty smart, unlike your Facebook feed. Hit Tab and go back to Object Mode, and yep, there it is. All scientific and Now you can add an array modifier. Rotate it to whatever you want, and you have a cheap fence. It's not as cheap as slapping a fence texture on a plane, but you'll get parallax, and at mid-distance, no one, I mean, no one will care, not even your personal inner troll. Play around, it's fun. But wait, there's more. Want to make a freaky cool weird object that you'd only see in like a Pier 1 liquidation event? Throw down an Icosphere, hit Tab, then go to Edge, Unsubdivide, and make it 1. Look at that crap. It's really cool crap. I'm not dissing it in the least. Make a wireframe out of this thing, and wow... Feel free to give it a bevel modifier and subdivision surface too, and smooth it out with the right click trick. And now you have a thing, but, but it's your thing. Lastly, let's see if this trick works on a box. Make the default cube. Now hit tab for edit mode and go to edge, subdivide and hit nine. Now hit unsubdivide and you get this. Give it a wireframe and you get a cage. Go inside, it's freaky, but we're not done yet. Make another cube with no subdivisions, then give that a wireframe modifier. Play with the thickness, then add a bevel modifier, and you get a cage with boundaries. Make a bunch of these guys, and you can stack them and make some happy-go-lucky videos like this one. There are cool links in the description for you, just saying. That's it. See you in the next one. Bye.